My name is uh, John Parit. Uh, I'm the chairman of Hope Beyond Foundation, uh, which runs uh, various projects, uh, including the, the Nkai Christian School, the Hope Beyond Center, and the water uh, projects, among many others. Uh, right here, I'm standing beside the, the uh, within the water distribution system uh, that we've been able to help. Uh, we got support from Just One Africa to be able to establish back in 2015 when we build our, we sunk the borehole, uh, which is 150 meters, uh, 450 feet below the ground, and we were able to hit an aquifer that has been able to provide water for all our needs within the school uh, and also reaching out to the many communities. Uh, over the years, from that borehole, we've been able to get uh, more support uh, to do the distribution work, uh, to purchase and uh, install uh, an electric uh, a generator system uh, powered by diesel engine. Uh, this generator is very useful because some, we've been having a lot of water uh, power outages and you find that uh, when there's, uh, there's no power within the, the local power se system, the generator steps in and provides uh, pumping to ensure that our water is continuously available to the community. And also we've been able to get support to build uh, uh, this tower here, which is 18 meters high, with uh, 62,000 liters water capacity. So with this water system here, we're able to pump the water from the pump, uh, from the borehole, going all the way on top of this tower. And then uh, the tower distributes the water to, to the system within the school and the entire community within the area of Kimana. Uh, over all these years, we've seen some very, very many uh, tangible benefits coming from this water. First of all, uh, we are probably the only clean water uh, that is available within the entire uh, Kimana area. So we have a lot of people who are coming to uh, fetch water from our water kiosk. We have a water kiosk here. And each and every day we have uh, more than uh, 250 or so people who come using small uh, tuk-tuks, like hand-driven carts, and uh, they, they come here to fetch water. And uh, they supply that water to the other communities and people who are living far-flung areas that cannot be reached through our water distribution system. And within uh, this power, we distribute water also to the nearby community. Right now, we are serving uh, around 85 homes uh, with an, an apartment buildings, uh, reaching over 1,215 people uh, with the water that is available right now through our distribution system. And these people are metered and they pay uh, at the end of the month a small fee that helps us to maintain uh, the generator, maintain our pump, and at the same time uh, service the whole system that we have. Uh, we've seen a lot of benefits uh, over this water. First of all, this water provides a lot of employment. All these people who come to fetch the water here, over 200 of them, they get their employment and uh, daily support by selling the water. So just by looking at them every day, every day, we provide like 200 employment for these people who distribute the water. At the same time, uh, it has provided a consistent supply of water to the whole area around the school and around the, this project. Uh, we are serving all these families and now they're, they're able to access clean water uh, that is piped into their homes or even supplied through the, the, the other supply channels. And that has really helped to cut down uh, diseases because a lot of people were fetching water from the, uh, from the river or some furrows and which was already very contaminated. But because they are getting water from this supply system here, you find they're able to access the clean water in their homes and over time you're realizing even the, the quality of life of these people is really greatly improved. And at the same time, the, the, the small fee that we charge uh, provides uh, money to support and maintain this system that we have here. But uh, beside that also, it provides an additional fund that supports the school and provides a scholarship for some students uh, at the school that is just nearby. And uh, we also thank uh, Just One Africa for their tremendous effort throughout uh, the years. If we sit down here right now, we can see this place is very well secured. Uh, the investment that is here is, uh, is very safe because of their efforts to be able to help us uh, uh, build whatever is here. And uh, as a distribution system, we feel that it's able to serve this community for so many years. And as right now, as we look at distributing more water, 
to the other areas that have not been able to reach uh, within the community. That's the need that is ongoing. And we're trusting God for us to be able to continue distributing water to so many other people who have not been able to uh, access our clean water from, uh, from this supply line. At the same time, uh, we want to thank God for uh, this particular water because uh, it has provided hope within the Kimana community. There has always been a very big shortage of, of water in this area. By just by having this simple project here that provides water, it reaches us to so many people who would otherwise not have accessed clean water, which is actually a basic human right and, uh, and one of the requirements we, even within the United Nations SDG uh, programs. So we want to thank you, uh, Just One Africa, and all, all who have been giving uh, towards this support to the community. It has really improved our lives and uh, provided hope and even uh, employment and it generated income and so many other things that have enabled us to be able to reach, reach our goals as this water project. Thank you very much and God bless you.